Hey guys, and happy Thursday. It has been a while. <laughs> it's been a while since I participated in Thrifty Thursday, and I had some stuff that I had collected over the last <clears throat> like few weeks or whatever. So I just wanted to go ahead and show you what I got. Oh, here's my hands. I'm back here. Um, so I just wanted to go ahead and show you what I found. Some of the stuff is for journaling and some of the stuff is just random. So bear with me, but I'm going to go ahead and show you my few thrifted finds first. Well, this one is not and this one is not. But I found this cute uh, Christmas ribbon and has a cute little gingerbread men and tree. They're all like little cookies. And I love getting wide ribbon because then I can put it on like the book binding and make some really cute journals with it. So, and you can make pockets out of it. So I really like getting the wide one. I just pull the wire up. Oh, where'd it go? I just pull like the wire from the sides here and then it makes it easier to kind of manipulate. And it was, you can't tell, but it was a dollar. So I got that one. And then I found these cute little vintage greeting cards they were two dollars and i think there's like four of them four or five of them i haven't pulled them out but i'm going to go ahead and do that so i can show you what they look like i just thought this was adorable and they're like so this, this is how the cards were like back in the day so you can definitely either just cut the you know cut it apart and use it separately or you can just use it just like that. The envelopes are kind of crusty, but it's okay. Oh, there's a little one in here. So there's this little one in here. And it's the same thing. Theirs are all like folded instead of two pieces. So you definitely get more for your little buck there. And then, oh, he's so cute. Look at that one. I love that little butterfly. That's adorable. So, oh, that's... The inside is cute too so yeah and it's kind of textured so you can feel like where the fence looks like is like wood grain so you could go over that with like some like what's it called the inking you can ink it up you know vent make it look even more realistic that is adorable but yeah these envelopes leave a lot to be desired there um another one here the paper is this is like parchment paper I love it. This is really, really cute. So I got that one and the last one. In, oh, this is really pretty. Hold on. It's stuck in here. That's really pretty. It has a little window there. And it has, so it's the same thing. So you can actually cut this up and make a couple of them and put like some stuff in the window. So that's really, really cute. I love this one. It's a lot of pink, but it's still cute. So those were $2. Then I got this paper. It was in this pack together and it was $2. I really bought it for this paper pack. It's going to be really cute for my sewing journal, which I am, I promise, <laughs> going to get to. Um, but yeah, so I got that and they're complete. They're brand new packs and then the cool yellow. This is like a pastel yellow. You can't really tell in the light there, but um, yeah, so I got those really, really cute. Where can I put you guys at? Put you down there. And then that was everything from the thrift store, I believe. Then the next thing, I got a bunch of stuff from Dollar Tree. I haven't really, oh wait, these, I found these somewhere for, they were just sitting. I can't remember where I was like at an appointment and they were just sitting someplace. So I grabbed them. It's just some library cards. So. I grabbed those then I haven't really been to Dollar Tree like buying like journaling stuff I've really just been going for necessities but I went a couple times and found like odds and ends here and there this uh, beacon tacky glue is amazing I used it tried it out this is another one I went back and got another one but where's that one at oh no this is the one that i use and then i went back and got another one this one's still new so this is really good glue so if you see this one grab that it does take a little bit longer to dry than like fabric fix or anything but it's still really good so then i found some cool stuff they had 
different stamps, but I thought this was cute. They have a whole new set of stamps. So I think there's like four in this set, but this is the one that I liked. So I grabbed that one. And then they had the stamp blocks. And these were the two shapes that I found. So I got those. I really like this one because it has the grid and you can make sure you get everything nice and straight. So I got those two. And then they had the ink pads. And this one is... Um, does it say it on here? I think this one's black. It doesn't, doesn't say it on here, but I think this one's black and they had, uh, blue, red, maybe green. I don't remember, but I know they had blue and red and then this black one. So I grabbed the black one. Then I found these, they have like a lot of new jewelry making stuff. I got these two. I got this one specifically for the lobster claws and the chain links and the jump rings and then I got the earring ones for specifically for this piece right here and possibly that one I haven't opened it so I'm not sure but I figured for a dollar 25 that is definitely a good find and then look at these cute little flowers they had a couple other sets with like different colors I just got these because they were the neutral ones but they had like the pink and the blues and all that stuff but these were the ones that I grabbed for now and I've actually already used these while making I've been making cloth pads um, and I've been using this so it is open and I think I used the blue one so those work pretty good then I got these for um, some projects that I'm working on hoping hoping that they work if not no big deal but I know that I've purchased these before um, but when I moved, everything's in my store. So I just bought another one to see if they work for what I'm trying to do. And, oh, so then they had new roller cutters. This one, and so this is the old one. The only thing that's really new is that they have like a little safety feature in here, like a little guard. So you take this out and then you can open it and close it and then pop this back in there, which... I like because I have you know little ones and he likes to touch everything so not much of a difference other than that but that's good so I got another one because I like I said I've been making uh, reusable cloth pads and so I use it more often now than I did before and then I found these I thought they were super cute they are glass and they had a couple different sizes I picked these because I like this shape and size um probably just for decoration just to kind of sit them somewhere I don't know I just thought they were cute so I grabbed them and I was I don't know <laughs> I don't celebrate Halloween but I really liked these they were just cute to me so I grabbed those and then I did grab another one of these like wood planks I know it's not really worth the money because you can go to like Hobby Lobby or Michaels or whatever and probably get it cheaper but I wanted to try something if you don't know on my other channel um I make dollhouse I make miniatures so I figured this would be good for like countertops and stuff like that so I grabbed one to see how well it would work I don't know yet so we'll see and then um what else did I get I think that's all I got actually is that everything yeah I think that was everything I thought I had more but apparently I did not okay yeah so that is every oops sorry that's everything that I got guys um I'm hoping to start recording again here soon again I think I explained to you in my last video my life has been crazy um just a lot going on so keep me in your prayers guys my I got some news about my son and some medical conditions and some other stuff and then my daughter was in a car accident and she's in Atlanta so um so yeah just keep me in your prayers it feels like you know I can never catch up <laughs> um but yeah so that is it for today be sure to check out um Cherie over at Turquoise Dreaming I'll have all that information down below they do a whole playlist of a bunch of Thrifty Thursday videos and they're amazing so much amazing stuff and ideas that they give you you know when when they show you the stuff so definitely check them out and thank you for oh wait there's two more things sorry guys i know i had something else 
real quick i got this one because i love tiana and this is going to be cute i'm going to be able to use some of these in a journal i have a bunch of um disney books that i'm going to like cut out cut pictures like this would be a cute picture or you know whatever for the for the journal and i just thought these were really really cute so and i never find anything with tiana on it so i got that one this is from the dollar tree and then i got this from amazon and i know that i have a tab hole punch but in my move i think it's in my storage unit there's still so much stuff in my storage because half of it's here and half of it's there so i got this off of amazon using my uh, fetch rewards points and I will link it in my Amazon storefront. It's in my, my description so you can check it out. So it's just a bunch of different shaped tabs. So this one's just like a regular tab, the circle, cute little cat, I guess. Um, is that a butterfly? Oh, a butterfly. They came together. I think it was like $7. You got the heart. So just a bunch of different shaped tabs and then these little markers little flowers so I got these because I'm hoping to or I'm not hoping I'm already in the process of making a prayer I know everybody's doing these prayer Bibles and I think if you know I don't like writing in my Bible I'm I'm working on it and I've been writing in it more often here recently but as far as I like highlight it I don't write in it yet I'm not there <laughs> um, so I'm making a prayer journal I have a war binder, but I'm going to make a prayer journal and kind of tab it out. And I didn't have, like I have the regular tabs from the Dollar Tree, like the little plastic restickable ones um, or removable ones. But I wanted something, you know, I want to use something cute. So I got these. I'll use my, my, what's it called? My Sizzix and cut them out. You could also do it on your Cricut or you could just cut some paper. I just... I just prefer doing this. So I got this for that. But yeah, I'm going to do a prayer journal. And you don't need these to make the prayer journal. I just got them because like I said, I like to make mine cute and decorative. So that's what I'm doing with them. But you can definitely just use paper, a notebook, and a pen. You're good. You know, so I'm going to show you how to do that. That's probably going to be my next video. Just because it's trending and everybody's doing prayer Bibles. Um, and I don't know how many other people feel like I do about writing in their Bibles. So I thought a prayer journal to kind of um, work with your, you know, work in, in tandem with your Bible. That way you can tab it out and then you know what scriptures to go look for. So that's what I do. Because um, again, writing in my Bible, oh, it just gives me anxiety. So, um, so yeah, that is it. But guys, keep me in your prayers. Like I said, lots going on and I will definitely keep you in my prayers. And if there's anything that you would like me to pray for, Definitely, you know, leave me a comment, send me an email. I would love to include you, add you to my prayer journal, my war binder. Um, I do pray over those prayers regularly, just about every day. Every once in a while, I'll, I'll skip a day, but almost every day I pray over those prayers. So when I say I'm going to pray for you, I actually do pray for you. I don't like to say it and then not do it. So, um, yeah, so if you have anything that you would like me to add to my prayer, it could be, you can know, you can, it can be an un- um, you don't have to tell me what it is. It can be an unspoken prayer request. If that's what you want it to be, you can comment. You can, like I said, message me on Instagram or email me. All my information is down below. Um, be sure to check me out over on TikTok. I tend to post over there daily, something daily, a scripture or something every day. So if you haven't, check me out on TikTok. Again, all that stuff is down below. And until next time, guys, be blessed and be the reason someone smiles. Bye.